high school. And my first two years uh, playing in the minor leagues was a great experience. I had a good time. Uh, came to the major leagues here in New York at age 19. At that point, I started having a little bit of success. Things started going pretty fast. Uh, got introduced to Manhattan and that lifestyle at 19. At that point, it still was just alcohol and still was smoking pot. Um, 84, I had a great year on the field, as well as 1985, I had a great year on the field. Unfortunately, 1986 was when the danger started for myself. Um, the demands on the field became too much. Uh, I put a lot of pressure on myself. Uh, there was a lot of pressure from the media, which I make no excuses for any of my downfalls or any of my failures. I look at the guy in the mirror who was totally my doing. Uh, but at the same time, along the way, I, I'll use this as an example. Uh, in 1986, I pitched a complete game. We won three nothing. I had four strikeouts. The first question would be, "What happened? You only had four strikeouts." That was posted the, the complete game. So after that, uh, the drinking increased a lot. Um, I went home. I got introduced to cocaine for the first time. And again, uh, I have a very addictive personality. Where when I tried it, I felt I thought it was the, the way I wanted to feel, the way I was supposed to feel, and fell in love with it. Unfortunately, along that way, my numbers on the field went down. Uh, there's a lot of failure in my life. I uh, miss a lot of my kids' birthdays that I can't get back. Uh, and one of the things that kept me sick for a long time was carrying the, the guilt and the embarrassment around from missing the birthdays, missing the school activities. Uh, my numbers on the field obviously started going down. Even though I wasn't using what I was playing, but the use I was doing off the field and the heavy drinking I was doing on the field caused a lot of that because my work ethic changed. The way I approached the game, I still love the game, but it, it was changing inside because your body just don't respond as quickly as it will if, you know, if it's clean and sober. Um, over 20 years I battled drugs and alcohol where I would get clean for a while and I would go back. And a big reason for that was I wanted to change everything I didn't want to use, I didn't want to drink, but I wanted to keep the same lifestyle. And what I mean by that, I still want to hang out at the clubs, I still want to hang with the same people that I use and think I can do something differently. But every time, it's just a matter of time before it caught up with me. And each time that I went back, it wasn't starting over, I was starting from where I left off. And it just got worse and worse. Unfortunately, I found myself being incarcerated, which was a tough, very tough time for myself. Anytime you're incarcerated, it's tough. But being incarcerated at age 40, we have young kids, it's very tough. Uh, it was very difficult to tell my life. I thought that was my bottom. Um, unfortunately, when I got out, these got well for a while. The same thing. I wasn't doing the thing the program tells you to do. And what I mean by that, I didn't have a sponsor. I wasn't going to meetings. I didn't have a support group. It was just myself living, so basically I was a time bomb just waiting to happen. Um, we got married for the second time in 2009. Uh, things was going well in the beginning, and then eventually, as, as you say, if, if nothing changed, nothing changes. Where, as I, as I mentioned, I wasn't doing the thing I was supposed to do to support myself, and I knew better. Um, through the course of my life, I had been in five rehabs at that time, so I knew the things I was supposed to do, but I still had the little voice in my head telling me, you know, I'm unique, I can do it differently. I don't need to go to meetings, I don't need to do the 12 step. I kept getting the same results every time. Um, a big life changer for myself, just to fast forward a bit, was uh, I got questioned a lot when I did the Dr. Drew show, uh, Celebrity Rehab. For myself, the main reason for me doing that show wasn't because of, of the, uh, the going there to be on TV. It was a situation where I wanted to remove the mask that I was wearing. Well, I was fooling myself. Everybody knew that what I was doing, even my family. I wasn't fooling anybody but myself. I just had to get clean with myself and be real. This is who I am. I'm an addict. I have a problem. You know, I'm not an active addict, but these are things that happen if I don't take care of myself. So by me going on the show, it gave me a new world life where I was able to tell my story and, and also share with those who uh, want to know how I was feeling, what was going on in my mind during those course of times. And by doing that, that helped me come clean with it myself um, to start my journey. I did a book after that, Dr. Memoir, that came out last June. Um, a big thing where I just shared my whole story. It was very tough to do and relive some of those moments, but. You know, your, your secrets will keep you sick. Um, so I had to, if I was going to come clean, I had to come clean with a lot of things. And once I got there okay for my older kids, I have adult kids, and my mom, if they was okay with that and reliving those moments, they gave me my blessings to do. And then so I did it. By doing that, it was great therapy for myself. Um, March 11th of this year gave me three years clean and sober. By the grace of God.